All right, so today's video is sort of an unusual product in that it may not be very interesting to a lot of people, but I do have some interest in it. Uh, bamboo paper towels. I like other things that have bamboo, uh, you know, in the construction. So these are reusable, and that may mean that you can save some money. There's also the environmental impact. You get two rolls, just so you get an idea, and the only real negatives I have that I can say about them, potentially, and neither one are really a real problem, is they have a little bit of scent to them. Not like a floral scent that's been added, just the fiber construction, which isn't a bad thing. It doesn't necessarily smell bad. It doesn't smell good, but there is a scent. Um, I don't think it's overpowering, so I don't think it'll be problematic to anyone, uh, particularly that's maybe sensitive to that, though I don't know because I don't have that sensitivity myself and they are a little shorter than a typical roll. So this is what I usually use, which is just a member's mark, uh, Walmart or uh, Sam's Club. Sam's Club is where you usually get them. There's a 150 sheet mega roll, so it's a very large roll. It also has the perforation so that you can get the shorter sheets. Um, so the problem that some people may run into is it's a little bit shorter. So if you have a a rod style that just slips over or slips onto it's going to be fine but if you have the kind that just attaches and holds on both sides with compression it may or may not fully reach uh, but it probably will for a lot of them but there's some that just may not because some of them can sit straight down they don't have a whole lot of strength to hold so that's something to consider and the smell like I said now this has sort of a I don't know how well it shows up, but you can see it sort of has a um, cross-hatch design, I guess you would call it. Kind of reminds me of canvas-type material. So, the good thing about this is they hold up rather well. I would not machine wash them, but bamboo paper towels, I've heard of people machine washing and dishwashing. So you could try that. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I would just suggest hand washing or rinsing them. Um, if you're just using them for like hand washing, let them dry and use them like you would a cloth towel, essentially. Um, it's basically what they are to a degree. But these are far more durable and they may potentially be more absorbent than your paper towels. For mine, they are very close in size. This paper towel has maybe about an inch on the side all the way down the length, uh, you know, top to bottom of the actual paper towel. So it has a little additional uh, coverage as far as, you know, size. So that gives it a little bit of an advantage. But what I basically decided I would do is just show you um, an absorbency test. Uh, if you're using these for cleaning, like stainless steel or tables or things like that, works really, really good for that. So that's a really good thing. Glass, you know, mirrors, you don't have as much lint to deal with that some paper towels give off. So there are some advantages to these in that regard alone, not only the reusable aspect. But I want to show you absorbency because I think that's probably one of the biggest things. And my personal experience, these compared to these, they're almost identical. Um, I'm basically taking two... Uh, small glasses that are dessert glasses, similar to shot glasses, but a little larger, and, you know, matching the water levels in them, and then dunking the paper towels in, and pulling them out, and looking at what, what water remains, and how much water drips, and both, when lifted up, will drip water, and both leaves almost the exact same, it's almost an insignificant, you know, indeterminable difference between the two, so pretty much exactly on par in that regard, with your paper towels, depending on what you use, they these may be more absorbent because they may have a slight advantage in some cases, I do believe. But I like that they have, it's it's soft, but yet rough. <laughs> it has sort of a texture that gives it this, this crosshatch, gives it a little bit more cleaning power, uh, possibly more scrubbing power, and the durability obviously does, so you don't have it disintegrate when you're cleaning things. Um, I don't have anything I need to particularly clean or that I want to pour liquid onto to try to wipe down, but you get the idea. When you wipe with these, it doesn't peel up and ball up like you get with a uh, regular paper towel. But I want to show you the absorbency aspect. But other than that, I just wanted to share real quick my thoughts on these paper towels. I got invited to check them out. They asked me if I could make a video speaking about what I thought. And so I did. This is it. I'll leave a link below. You can find out more. 
Otherwise, check out a real quick sort of demonstration example of the absorbency as a test so you know what to expect. Maybe if you use these or maybe a paper towel that's equivalent, but that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, they hold up well to hand washing. Good luck with uh, washing machines and dishwashing. It's really up to you. Okay, that's it. I don't know the number of uses you can get out of these. It really depends on what you're cleaning it with, so keep that in mind. Uh, some of them list up to 120 uses, 80 uses. You know, it really depends on you and what you're using it for. Okay, that's it. Check out this little demonstration. Check out the link below. Thanks for watching. All right, so now I don't know this angle is probably the, this is the best angle I have, but I don't know how well it shows up. But these are basically pretty much identical, and I kind of just put these into a size that will fit. So I'll stick this one in here and this one in here, and I left the open side, most of the open side up on top. So definitely not a scientific test, but hopefully still one that gives you a bit of an idea. So both of them have wick. The liquid has wicked to the top of both, so they both are wet all the way to the top. So they're fairly well saturated, so they absorb pretty well. If I lift this up, not a whole lot's dripping. A little bit. If I lift this up, this one's probably going to drip a little bit more. Not this time. So a little bit more absorbent. Like I said, slightly more absorbent. And again, I can't really turn it sideways for you very well, but lifting them up and looking at it on the side, they uh, pretty much have the same amount of liquid again. So very, very minimal difference between the two in absorbency, but a lot more cleaning power because of the durability and a lot less lint to deal with, plus the reusable aspect means you can use them over and over and not have to worry about uh, throwing away as much. So good for the environment and, you know, good for your pocket if the cost is good enough for you depending upon the paper towels you purchase. Okay, so there you go. Quick demonstration and that's it. Thanks again.